Hobby Fest. Welcome Hobby Fest. So the big day's arrived, we're at the Hua Beer Festival, smack bang in the middle of Ho Chi Minh City. I've got my glass, I've got my pass, and I've got my little tag here where I can go around to each vendor and get a beer. So let's go and check it out, mate. So here we are at Seven Bridges, let's have their awesome Imperial IPA, I love this beer. Cheers man. Let's have a sip of this. No wonder it's one of my favourites. It's uh, 90, I think it's 90% and 50 IBU, so nice on the uh, IBUs, but 9%. Oh my god. Beautiful. We've actually got the brewer here, Darren. Yeah. All the way from Dunang. Seven Bridges is Dunang's only homegrown craft beer brewery. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us on the bureau. Yeah, yeah so uh, what do you think about this event? Awesome for a first go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So first time here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so how has it been so far? So Friday night, obviously, it's over two days. Yeah, okay. I, I, I was working yesterday, so I kind of arrived a bit late, but okay. it seemed like it was uh, okay. popping off pretty good. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. so how's the craft beer scene changed over the last couple of years in yeah. uh, Man, there's a lot more people on the scene. Uh, so, obviously I come from Southern California, where it's pretty saturated there, yeah. where now we we're still pretty far away from the saturation point. Okay. So at, at this point, the more people are getting involved in the game, the better I feel. And uh, what's actually been cool is you're starting to see a lot of like more kind of local uh, Vietnamese, like homegrown, getting into the scene uh, that are that are brewers. And what about Seven Bridges? Tell us a little bit about the story behind Seven Bridges. Uh, Seven Bridges was the conception of that. That's, that's before I even got there. So that, that started with Stanley, obviously. Uh, Stanley and his wife Sari are from uh, Tokyo, Japan, and they uh, they decided to move to Danang and set up a brewery. And then I came a little bit later, almost a year after that. And obviously, my roots are Southern California, so that's what kind of like the influence in the beers quite a, quite a bit. A lot of uh, West Coast IPAs. And, uh, so when I take a sip of the Imperial IPA, which yeah. by the way I think is one of the best beers in Vietnam, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, what am I tasting? Uh, it's a hoppy West Coast San Diego style IPA. I love it. Thank you, Melody. See you guys. Cheers. Try this out. This is like the newest beer on the market in Vietnam at the moment. Uh, it's called No Name. So, very interesting name. Here we go. So, what's this again? It's an English pale ale. English pale ale. Let's give it a go, mate. Oh, it's a beautiful colour. Nice toffee colour, isn't it? Actually, it's very different from the Seven Bridges. So, I've got Gary here. Gary's. Uh, Founder, yeah, yeah. No, one no, of the yeah, one of the two, yeah. Yeah. So, one of the two founders here. So, uh, Vietnam and craft beer. Um, tell us a little bit about No Name. How No Name the uh, brand came about? I guess. Yeah, No Name brand. We came out. Uh, we started with a brand called Archetype, but moved to No Name, and we like the anonymity. Okay. No Name. What does it mean? Right. You know, nobody, no one, no, yeah. no name. So how many places around town can we get no name at the moment? We're at about 11. Oh, already? 11 places already. Okay. Yeah. And We've been many... in the game for about like five months. Okay, that's so, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how many beers have you got on the market at the moment? We've got the Pale Ale. Right, okay. One Pale Ale. And exactly. any plans in the pipeline for something a little different as well? Yes, we yeah. have an Orange Ale coming up. We have an IPA the, called The Gambler. That's amazing. Awesome. Amazing. And uh, how important is an event like this for someone like you who's starting out in, in Vietnam in the craft beer scene? It's absolutely essential. Right. I mean, to be seen, no name, to be yeah. here, to have representation, right. to be among all the people who started it. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, 
you know, it's imperative that we're here. And how's the feedback been so far? Like last night, of course, there was uh, the event kicked off here. Yeah, the event kicked off last night. Uh, did you get plenty of people through yeah. tasting the beer? Yeah, be it lots of people yeah. tasting, lots of people buying. Like, awesome. we got great feedback. People love our beer. They really like the pale ale. It's, awesome. it's not too pale. Oh. You know, it's not too strong, but it's just right, really well balanced. So, right. Thanks for your time. Like it. Okay, I'll be back for sure. I'll be awesome. Back. We'll be yeah, back. great. So this is uh, one of the Japanese craft beers that have made it onto the market in Vietnam recently. It's called Fuji Zakura, and uh, we've got the extremely Pilsner here. So I'm very keen to try this. I haven't tried it yet. I lived in Japan for three years. The craft beer scene wasn't so big then. Um, so this is going to be really interesting. Oh yeah, tons of flavour. Oh, it's got that toffee, that toffee flavour. We've got Peter Goon Franklin here. <laughs> um, Have you tried it? I'm doing a tasting of this new... Uh, Weizen. Weizen. Yeah. Fuji Sakura, very fresh, yeah, very fresh, nice. very fresh. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 quite nice. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. We're with Wang. Oh, this is a beer Isn't that good, man? Yeah. He's one of the organisers of this, and uh, he also represents uh, Fuji Sakura beer as well. So. How's the event so far? How's everything going? I think it's quite good. Yeah, it's a good thing and bad thing. Like we, we lack of human resource because it's the first time. But uh, we would like to improve more. Just like uh, change the consumer taste you know, to more craft beer. Like get rid of those industrial beer. Make a community event two or three times a year. And uh, push on and uh, connect between uh, foreigner and Vietnam. So let's um, let's talk a little bit about the beer. The yes. one, I'm, one I've got here is the Fuji Sakura Extreme Fusion. Yes. Yeah. So what am I tasting when I take it now? Uh, I would say this is a. Uh, it's like you taste a Pilsner and an IPA together, hoppy but yet very crispy yeah. and clean. You know because uh, in Japan it's cold weather and people want very bitter beer. But when we come to Vietnam, we lower the bitterness. Yet we make it very hoppy and. Uh, okay. Crispy to super Vietnamese taste. So this one is actually imported with Vietnamese taste. Yes, yes. We we make different uh, batch like for Japanese version and this oh, Vietnamese version. Okay. Because we it's craft brewery. You have to adapt to your consumer. Last night, based on the people that you saw here, was it mostly Vietnamese people? I would say uh, 80 80 percent Vietnamese. Wow, well, that's great. Well, well done. Thank you. Nice to meet you again. Cheers. Cheers. It's a great beer. Get yourself some. Brewing, which is uh, one of the more recent additions to the craft beer market in Vietnam. Yeah. I'm here with Cheeky. Cheeky yeah. is uh, Cheeky the founder. Deme Brewing, co founder. Yeah, here, our brewer. Good to meet him. Our brewer here. Here you go, here you go. And Cheeky, our founder. Now, firstly, what is Deme? Deme is like Gypsy. It's more like enthusiasm in Vietnamese. In Vietnamese. Okay. It's more like enthusiasm. Alright. Yeah, like deep say you like get fun and like damn it. Alright. Yeah. So uh, what are we drinking here? What's this one called? This one called a like, Bawa IPA. Have okay. you heard about that? Yeah, it's <laughs> our first beer. Bawa IPA. Okay. Make one three cap up. That's going to go Bawa. Like is three it, flower. Is it local ingredients? Uh, oh, no. Local. No, no, no. No, for sure. For sure that okay. nothing. No, let's have it, let's have a try. Yeah. It's good. It's very good. Uh, very interesting. Quite bitter. Isn't it? It's IPA. IPA. Uh, what percentage alcohol is it? Uh, I think about one. Okay, so it's yeah. fairly heavy on the, yeah. on the alcohol radar, isn't it? Uh, really nice. Yeah. Really, really nice. How long have you been brewing? Eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Okay. So young. So young. in the big deal. And so if uh, the local Vietnamese want to Try out Demi, yeah. where can they find it? How uh, many different places? How many different outlets? Uh, we have like uh, Big Crab, Big Okay, Good to Free, uh, Saigon Crab, Good to Seven, Mall, 
Okay. And what's how to? And what about you? What motivated you to open up a brewery? Because we're Vietnamese. And we want to do something like Vietnamese beer. But like, we like to drink. We like to talk. Is this similar to Vietnamese beer though? No. <laughs> no. We want to bring something new. Okay. Yeah, we want yeah. to bring something new. Something yeah. like, yeah, man. Okay. This is energy. Well, I'll tell you yeah. what, if you see Demi beer around, yeah. I reckon you should try yeah. it, man. It'll knock Demi. your socks off. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, man. Nice Cheers. to meet you. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, ba ba hoa. Hoa. Oh, you say, what you say? Ba ba Ok, ba hoa. Ba hoa. Okay. <laughs> is this like symbolic or? of you when you had a light bulb moment yeah, yeah. to do a craft beer festival. Now, there's been a number of craft beer festivals in Saigon yes. over the last five or six years. Like craft beer is a huge phenomenon, really. It's, it's global. Do you want to wipe your face? <laughs> so, um, you're, you're one of the organisers of this craft beer festival. And, and in a sense, craft beer is nothing new. Yeah, man. I mean, globally speaking, it's a new phenomenon, but I think you know, 2014 was about the first time that craft really started to emerge in, in Vietnam. Why do this? Um, it was a lot of like medium, nozzle, more uh, beer festival, craft beer festival in Vietnam, but there are not many other people who want to be in the beer community. So I feel like if this community wanna get stronger, we have to get the local audience. Yeah. The local audience here in Saigon is like Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, and um, they they deserve to be better beer. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that, hey? Good, cheers. Uh, this is Eddie from uh, Bira 91. Hey guys, here. A new entrant into, into Vietnam's craft beer. Okay. Alright, this is Hello. a Indian pale ale. Okay. And, uh, we have tapered down on the ABV, it's about 4.5%. Added pomelo. Pomelo is a common fruit found in northeast of India. And we realize it's a pretty common fruit in Vietnam as well. Folks. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I like it. And, yeah, and so we brewed it there, tried to make the first batch. The moment I, it got lost there, I said, oh, Vietnam loves pomelo, just send it over. It's a super drink. Of yeah, beer, it's isn't super it? fashionable. And in fact, all the three beers that we have are below 5% ABV. And they're low or medium bitterness. Okay. Uh, I think you know, suit the culture. The culture in Vietnam is to drink more, and the idea is to get flavorful beers to the people here. That's about me for the Beer Hoa Festival. I can't even speak after this. 24 craft beer breweries here today and ciders as well. I've had a bunch of beers. I don't know how much more I can take. I've maxed out my uh, bracelet. I've maxed out my ABV capacity. So I'm gonna head home uh, before someone grabs me, I guess.